All right, y'all. Fasted cardio completed. 45 minutes on the Stairmaster. 386 calories burned. So here's my post cardio physique update. So the best piece of advice I can give you guys, all right, when you're dieting, when you're trying to do a body transformation, I highly recommend, you know, record yourself, take photos. That way you can track your progress. That way you can see if the diet's working, the training's working, the cardio's working, the sleep, all of that. You can, you can make sure that you're, you're making progress, all right? So I highly recommend, sorry for the wash, I gotta do laundry, but I highly recommend, you know, doing some kind of photos, doing some kind of video, to just track your progress. So that being said, that's why I showed you guys my physique i'm gonna incorporate those more in the videos and the vlogs um somebody actually in my last video called me a fat so that is very mean of you uh but i don't have to worry about it because i blocked you <laughs> uh but i don't care guys you know i use stuff like that as fuel i don't i don't let it bother me i'm comfortable in my own skin my current skin uh and i just want you guys to know people are going to say things they're going to talk trash about you people are going to be like oh you're losing too much weight whatever the case may be don't let no one dis discourage you from your from your goals all right that you're trying to achieve just keep pressing forward so post cardio meal aka meal number one we have four egg whites two whole eggs and then we're gonna have four rice cakes which is gonna give me 48 grams of carbs total and then a large cup of water with this meal because it's very important to get that water in um, but today is not a vlog I'm gonna talk about a very important topic so after I eat this meal we're gonna just go ahead and dive straight into it all right so let's talk about cardio for a little bit guys all right i'm gonna try to keep this very very short but we may go a little longer all right so just pay attention bear with me all right so when it comes to losing body fat trying to get toned you're trying to get lean you're trying to get a six pack uh, i know a lot of people jump straight into their their clean dieting which is the number one thing clean up your diet and then they automatically think i need to do a ton of cardio so you'll see people jump on these stairmaster treadmills and they're doing cardio six days a week you know they have it at the highest setting possible and they're just throwing all of this right off the rip i'm here to tell you guys because i've learned in the past that doesn't work i've done it i've been there and i'm trying to share this information with you when you're starting to do a new diet you're trying to lose weight you're trying to get ripped guys you have to start off small you have to start off i'm not gonna say sm small but in a big way so put it like this you need to start off by not dropping like your diet to a, a serious crash diet like just eating meat and veggies you know maybe start off with 300 grams of carbs a day that way you have room to make adjustments to your diet don't start off doing six cardio sessions a week maybe start off doing three or four guys because if you start throwing this all at your body right away your body is going to adapt to it our bodies are very very smart and they're going to adapt to it and the reason i'm sharing this sharing this with you guys is because that happened to me during my first prep during my first prep, you know, my carbs was cut all the way down, guys. Doing cardio, um, let's say, I wanna say I was doing cardio twice a day, but only 30 minutes a session. And I hit a plateau for two weeks, I wasn't burning any fat. And granted, I was going in like single digit body fat, and naturally my body was fighting it. I hit a plateau because at that point, we threw everything at my body in the beginning, which was too early. Um, so, I'm here to tell you guys, when you start out, start out start out kind of small and then work your way. Start out big, but you're technically starting out small, all right? Start out with high, you know, not super high carbs, but you know, moderate carbs. Start out with a couple, car a few cardio sessions a week. And then that way you have room for improvements because your body's gonna adapt after about three or four weeks to that current diet, that training, your body's gonna be like, okay, I know what to expect now. And then you're not gonna, you're gonna hit a plateau. That's, it's gonna happen. So you have to change up. You have to have room for change and improvements, all right? The next thing I wanna talk about when it comes to the cardio part of this video, getting on machines, guys, and putting it at the highest setting possible, or putting it at these high settings, but people, but you're holding onto the handrails, all right? 
Uh, so I want to say you're taken away from that cardio session and there's no point in putting that, that treadmill at you know, eight speed if you're gonna hold onto the rails, guys, or putting it at a 15% incline if you're gonna hold onto the, the treadmill. The goal is to do the work without any assistance, all right? That's how you're gonna burn a lot more calories and you're gonna get the most out of that session. I see it all the time, people going to gym and they're walking on the incline at a 15% incline and they have it at three and a half speed, four speed, and I don't even know how they're doing it. Well, I know how they're doing it because they're holding on and they're like moving and you're not really working. I could put it, the treadmill at 15% incline and put it at like 2.5 and it's a slow walk, but I'm sweating like crazy. Uh, even on the Stairmaster, I see it all the time. People get on the Stairmaster, they put it at like 10 and they're leaning all over the Stairmaster and their legs are just in motion. So your full body's not really working. You're gonna burn more calories if you let go of the handrails and you're not leaning on the Stairmaster. Now, if you have some kind of medical or physical issue, guys, by all means, hold on to it. But I wanna share with you guys, when you get on these cardio machines, it's just like your diet. Do not put it on the highest setting right away. You know what I'm saying? Start off at a, a setting that's gonna help get your, your, your heart rate up and just maintain that. That way you leave room for improvement. So say four weeks later, okay, I've been doing level four the whole time and I've been battling losing weight. Let's bump it up to level five or level six. You know what I'm saying? Your body will adapt to it if you're putting it at level eight, 10, right off the bat. So keep that in mind as well when you're doing your cardio session, guys. Um, and these are just pointers I wanna share with you guys because I feel like it's very important. I see it all the time in the gym. And sometimes I just wanna, you know, like, talk to people and say, hey man, maybe you should try this. But sometimes you don't know how someone's gonna react. But I'm sharing this with you guys because these are things I faced during my, my last five years of just competing and really understanding like what it takes to alter your physique and make changes, all right? Um, and it clicked in my mind when I was on the uh, Stairmaster today because I honestly realized um, it takes a lot for my heart rate to get up, I think because I'm just an athletic person and some of us are like that. Um, I got on there, I'm going at like four, and I'm like, okay, 10 minutes in, <laughs> and I usually check my heart rate by grabbing the, the sensors on the on the, um, hand grips, and it was like 122. For me, I try to aim around 135, 140, so I bumped it up to like five. Check it again, it was like 130, so I was like, all right, I bumped it up to six, and I was hitting around 150, so then I bumped it back to five, because at the end of the day, I wanna leave room for uh, for for change. I, want, I don't wanna go ahead and, and throw you know, the high speeds at my body right now and then my body adapts to it, all right? So, I hope you guys enjoy this information. I hope you take this information, apply it to your, your fitness journey. Uh, just keep that in mind when you're doing these sessions. And one thing, let's talk real quick about fasted cardio because I feel like it's very important. If you're starting out a new diet, guys, don't focus on half, half it. Don't focus on doing fasted cardio right out the rip, all right? Focus on cleaning up your diet and then do your cardio after your workouts. Do that first. When you're, when you're, if you're competing or let's just say you're trying to do a photo shoot or you're trying to really get like single digit body fat, then that's when the fasted cardio sessions come in. Uh, but again, fasted cardio sessions, you have to be really careful because you you can, potentially burn muscle mass and that's that's not what we want to do all right so uh some of the things i like to do when i do fasted cardio i get up first thing in the morning i uh, drink some water drink a huge cup of water a glass of water and then i'll take like some l-carnitine that's going to help with burning fat and then sometimes i take a, a fat burner or thermogenic but i always take my l-carnitine it's not a stem and then i drink bcas so what i'll do is i'll take the shaker cup right here this huge shaker cup, and I'll take a serving of BCAAs. And I'll fill the cup all the way up with water, put a scoop of BCAAs in there. And what I'm doing, I'm sipping on this as I'm walking out the door. And then when I get to my cardio session or get to the gym to do cardio, I'm sipping on it during my workout. Immediately after the fasted cardio, I come home and I eat, or I drink a protein shake right after that. It's very important to make sure you get nutrients in your body right after you do that session. You're already in a fast from sleeping. If you're sleeping from six, to 10 hours a day, you're already in a fast, and then you're getting up, and then you're doing maybe, you're gonna be up another two, maybe three hours, depending on how far you gym, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. 
So keep that in mind. It's very important to eat right after you work out because if not, your body is gonna start fueling off your muscles and we don't want that, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the content, if you like the videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, Ask me down in the comments below, guys, and I will answer in the next videos or in the future videos, all right? Until next time, peace.